call on Government Order of the Day number two. Māori Purposes Bill, first reading. Uh, the Honourable Tiro Flavel. Tenaka, uh, Mr. Speaker, kia ora tātou katoa e noho nei i roti tō tātou whare. Ka nui te mihi kia tātou. Mr. Speaker, I move that the Māori Purposes Bill be now read a first time. I nominate the Māori Affairs Committee to consider the bill. Mr. Speaker, the, this Māori Purposes Bill amends the Māori Purposes Act 1991 to improve the governance arrangements of the We Pere Trust. This includes enhancing the Trust's operational capability and removing unnecessary Crown involvement in the administration of the Trust. So it's a huge privilege and honour to present this Bill uh, to the House. By way of some background, Mr Speaker, the We Pere Trust was established in 1899 to administer the estate of Wiramu Pere, a prominent East Coast uh, politician who graced the halls of this Parliament in his day. In 1906, the Trust became a statutory trust and the trust deed has been incorporated in legislation since the early 20th century. The We Pere Trust is now governed by the Māori Purposes Act 1991 and has grown to be a successful uh, enterprise. The Trust has approximately 460 beneficiaries with land and other net assets valued at nearly $66 million as at June 2014. Mr Speaker, the Māori Purposes Act 1991 requires the Minister of Māori Affairs and currently requires the Minister for Māori Development to be responsible for certain aspects of the Trust administration. The internal management of the Trust is also detailed in the provisions of the Māori Purposes Act 1991. This means that any changes to the way the Trust operates must be affected through statutory amendment. Mr Speaker, the Māori Purposes Bill removes the need for further ministerial involvement in the administration of the Trust. It empowers the Trust to adopt rules relating to internal management, and that can only be good. The Bill also replaces the current trustees of the We Pere Trust with an incorporated Trust Board. So these amendments will provide more commercial flexibility for the Trust into the future. They will strengthen the direct relationship of accountability between the We Pere Trust Board and the beneficiaries of that Trust. Mr Speaker, the Trust Board will be accountable to beneficiaries under the Constitution and will continue to be accountable under the Trustee Act 1956 and the amended Māori Purposes Act. The Trust Register of Beneficial Interests is currently maintained by the Māori Land Court. In line with, uh, with uh, recognising the Wipere Trust's autonomy over its own affairs, the Bill allows the Trust to control and maintain its own register of beneficial interests. This, sir, will help the Trust to administer its unique succession rules. Mr Speaker, the Māori Purposes Bill continues and clarifies the We Pere Trust's long-standing succession provisions as set out in the Māori Purposes Act 1991. Succession to beneficial interests in the We Pere Trust is limited to direct lineal uh, descendants of We Pere uh, himself. However, the beneficiary spouses and children and remoter issue who are not lineal uh, descendants can succeed uh, to life interests. So it's important to the beneficiaries of the We Pere Trust that these unique succession provisions are maintained, firstly, sir, to preserve the whakapapa of We Pere, secondly, to honour his wishes to provide for his whānau, and finally, pass on the legacy of We Pere to his descendants. Mr Speaker, the Māori Purposes Act 1991 provides that all land forming part of the trust property is deemed to be Māori freehold land. Under Te Ture Whenua Māori Act 1999, uh, 1993, sorry, Māori freehold land is subject to alien, alienation restrictions and requirements, which general land is not so. These restrictions are designed to promote the retention of Māori freehold land by Māori, uh, but also considerable, um, considerably limit the We Pere Trust's use of this land. Mr Speaker, the Māori Purposes Bill removes the current provision deeming all land held by the Trust to be Māori freehold land and enables the Trust to hold general land for investment purposes. 
It reverts land owned by the Weepere Trust, which was general land at the time it was acquired, to its original general land status. <clears throat> so these changes will allow the Trust to exercise far greater economic autonomy in the management of its land holdings. Mr Speaker, the Māori Purposes Bill clarifies the relationship between Te Ture Whenua Māori Act in 1993 and the legislation governing the Weepere Trust. It also clarifies the respective jurisdictions of the Māori Land Court and the High Court with respect to the Trust. The High Court will have jurisdiction over matters relating to governance and general land held by the Weepere Trust. The Māori Land Court will have jurisdiction in relation to Māori freehold land held by the Weepere Trust. Mr Speaker, a new Te Ture Whenua Māori Bill is being drafted. These, features, uh, these feature, future changes may impact on the amended Māori Purposes Act 1991, though the Act will likely only require consequential amendments to update references to the new Te Ture Whenua Māori Act. The Bill provides a framework tailored to the needs of the Wipere Trust to govern itself, sir, while maintaining key protections for Māori land set out in Te Ture Whenua Māori Act 1993. Mr Speaker, the amendments to the Māori Purposes Act 1991, can I say, were initiated at the request of the representatives of the Weepere Trust. Representatives of the Trust have been closely involved in the development of this Māori Purposes Bill. The trustees consulted formally with beneficiaries in 2009 and again in 2013. I hope that information will be helpful to those considering the bill tonight. Of the beneficiaries who voted on the amendments, 91% supported the changes to the trust, 91% uh, uh, as given effect uh, by the bill. Finally, Mr Speaker, the bill corrects a minor technical error in the Māori Trust Board's Transitional Provisions Order 2012. Mr Speaker, this order specifies uh, the transition dates for those Māori Trust Boards transferring uh, to revise financial accountability requirements under the updated Māori Trust Boards Act 1955. The order mistakenly refers to the Tauranga Moana Māori Trust Board as the Tauranga Māori Trust Board. The Māori Purposes Bill corrects this error. In conclusion, Mr Speaker, I want to thank all of those who participated in the consultation on these amendments. I'm confident that these amendments will contribute to the autonomy of the We Pere Trust to manage its own affairs, something that they want and something that they should be given, and will enable uh, a successful Māori enterprise to operate more effectively in a commercial environment. Mr Speaker, with those words, I commend this bill to the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to.